Playing with Dragons. Hi everyone, it's Lex. Holly. And welcome to episode 13 of Wander Song. We're back in Kiwi's hometown. Full of style. Ignore that guy. <laughs> that guy he, he's an outlier. He, we don't count him. In a sad town <laughs> where everyone's sad except for that guy. He's barely even human. <laughs> <laughs> so, this part always reminds me of um, Night in the Woods. Never played it. I just know it. I know there's a game that are inside the game that everybody likes. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that one. Hey, guy. Yo, you found me. Brought in by my sorrowful music, were you? It's no show. I play from the heart. I play for the city. Its heart replaced with machinery. Cold as the snow that falls upon it. For love unrequited. I cannot bear to face her. But I've written my feelings in this letter. Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my eyes off of her. Some call it being a stalker. <laughs> and I don't even know her name. Okay, Peter. <laughs> oh, girl in front of the factory from 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Why do you make my heart seem so... I'm gonna not listen to you anymore. <laughs> oh, I can just take the door down. So I have this letter. Yeah, you better get going. Well, she said, oh, said 11.30. You better get 6 going. 6.30. I have time. I actually, I'm going the wrong one. But I have time. Now click that clock is going. It doesn't feel like it. I just pass it off to her, right? Isn't it <laughs> illegal? No, I don't think it's technically if I'm just passing a note. It's he doesn't like, even address it because he doesn't even know her. Yeah. Hi, puppy. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, anyway, it's like when you see that person that's just a little too cheerful, even though it's just the front. So here's the... Here's the factory. It's that guy. It's this guy. It's clearly the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually Miriam. Spoilers. Miriam, it's for you. What do you want? Well, I have this letter. For a girl standing here at this time? So it's for me. I guess so? <laughs> wow, I could go real special there. What is this? This is... Oh, I got an answer all right. Take this back to him. Why is there small it now? And don't read it. I never got a letter like that before. Find the guy who wrote me that letter and give it back to him. Back, 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 back. Baby got back. Ooh. Can you just take the door back up there now since you took it once, or you have to jump all the way on all of it? I don't know, I always just. That's why I always played the game was jumping, but I guess I can try. What's the harm in it? What's the harm in trying? So it's a clock system. It's like we're in Clock Town. Hey, Winston. Hey, we'll, dog. And we'll get the dog eventually. The dog. Um, and our job is to, like, basically make everyone's lives better. You said, well, we don't really get Oops, sure. Okay, you're right. Hooray! You're Peter. Um, I have a letter for you. From her? Yeah. This is... Amazing! What? <laughs> she agreed to meet me! <sighs> oh, wait. She also said, don't tell the weird part. That's definitely me. <laughs> oh, that's already I've broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't show second chances? Um, 
Every moment without her is pain. I await our meeting with continued sadness. So slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet me. Your Peter, my love. She's so fierce. Yeah. <laughs> and grumpy. Yep. Measly annoyed. True. She's perfect. <laughs> okay, Peter. The factory was infected the very heart of the city. Its darkness is suffocating. My heart cannot bear this weight to see her tonight. Well, it's already like 10.30. I hope I didn't keep you, Peter. But yeah, that's more or less the gist. When's the guy supposed to meet the dog at 11.30 at night? I forgot exactly, let me... Yeah, then there's Beth's diner, there's like a whole slew of people in there, but we're not getting there yet. And I don't have a guide, I'm just going based off my hello. I want was friends with the bear. He left his life behind from the factory crew. He must be very old now. Are you Vlad? Oh, the air is so brisk. And putrid. Okay, well, I got a thing to do, Vlad, which I probably already missed. Oh, there's a new person. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm the street sweet film oh, Sorry, that's the sound she made when I talked to her. Oh, no, puppy! Puppy! You know, later than me, you see some funny stuff. Like that astronomer from out of town, eh? He goes to Beth's diner every night at midnight, which I am late. Always if she's in town, don't you know? Oh god. Okay, Winston. My life is completely aimless. Go work in the factory, Winston. Really love me here. There's nothing in this world for me. Every night at 9 30 p.m., I try to put the stray dog at the hot tower pump. But what do I do to make her like me? Okay, so 9.30 we'll come back and deal with Winston. I probably already missed the astronomer. Astronomer? Jesus Christ, Vlad. Can, 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 little can, can, tell me who's a man, man. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like super late. Beth Steiner. The astronomer. I always feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. Oh, here we are. Okay, she's still here. Good. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alara, the astronomer. Astronomer. I don't know why I can't say my own profession. I like it that every character has different fonts. Yeah. So that way it gives them like kind of a voice without really giving them a voice. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars, one by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see flapping whiz bats in the sky anymore. Pardon my language. I don't even know what that is. So I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town. Plotting subterfuge. I can't see you. Oh, I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. Oh, no. I figured out how to sh how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. A cohort? Um, an accomplice. And I call uh, Okay, I'll just- I'll do it. I'm impressed. You it yeah. only took you two others. It took another Sephoris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Specifically people who are awake during the day, but unemployed. I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory. And use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. I'm sure the owner won't mind. Good luck. Okay, Alara. Hey. 
Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Do I look crazy to you? Don't bomb me in whatever this is. I've got a diary. Yeah. And I heard you said unemployed child. Oh, yeah. Why would I be doing this for free? <laughs> but the locker. Thanks, Beth. I can't afford it. I understand, Beth. Are you gonna get to your dance now, or? Um, because I think everybody's pretty much asleep. Yeah, let me try. Well, you just missed. Isn't it downstairs? Is Beth? At Beth's place, isn't it down? Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I always get lost yeah. in this town. Hopefully. Hopefully they're there. <laughs> I feel like I'm running faster. Gotta go fast! Oh, also, I, I cannot... I think I already stated that I can't dance in the last episode, but... Yeah. I still cannot dance. I may be running faster, but that's about it. Oh, jeez, Louise, by the time it gets me up here... Oh! Gravy! Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. You feel it? I feel my heart pounding. This place, it's got this vibe going on. It's trying to tell us something. It's telling us it's time to dance. Relax, Wanderer. Let the dance in. I only know the Macarena. Yeah, new dance, even though you're still depressed. But hey, depressed people can learn the new dance. <laughs> you know what's terrible? This... That dance reminds me of like you're trying to whack the water away when you're trying to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Does not make any sense. Beautiful dance, wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Uh, oh, dance again. Dance. You don't seem to care, but I can dance. Dance for one two. <laughs> okay, that comes at me too. Really <laughs> it looks like a like a maniac trying to fight, like punching the air. Ah, let me out! I'm being beat. Get out of your smog. Come down here and face me like a bard. I can dance. I can dance. Everybody wants to dance. dance. <laughs> nope. You know, any way of you coming at me with any of that? Okay, except for maybe that, but that's because I've seen people come at me with that. <laughs> because their hands are wet and they're disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so... And they want to save the trees, which so it's is day good. Time. So we gotta find people who are unemployed. Well, 930 is that guy. Yeah. I don't suppose you want to overthrow the factory, do you? Yes! Okay, dog. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. I'm ready. Bad, bad, bad. I'm like Beetlejuice. How are you doing? Not too shabby. Okay, Tanya. Well, apparently that guy on the roof found himself a girlfriend. Das! You don't say. Something like that, anyway. They go trapezing around that around 9 p.m. Girl's new in town. Nobody knows her. Never thought I'd see the day. Well, the astr astronomer from out of town is scheming something. Something big. Scheming? What do you mean, Beth? I don't know. That's that guy next to you. He's gonna try to overthrow the factory. What? That's crazy talk. That's what I heard. So, what's all the latest? Not so much. Workers are working. Factory's chugging away. Everyone's just working for the bear in one way or another. One way or another. Okay. Well, Tanya doesn't seem to be of any help.
Do you want to help overthrow the factory? <laughs> Oh, uh, what about you? Yeah, that's you. That was you. You're making terrible puns. Oh boy, what a question! I'm quite busy with the mail, as you can see. Sorry to stamp out your yep. dreams. Yep, nope. I don't want to run anything. I tried to lure you down easy. Why do you keep talking? I think only once did I ever pass time. I normally would just. There's track of time trying well, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You are one of. Actually, believe it or not, he is one of our people. Well, he was unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wanna help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. We have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. Where's Marion? She's probably still in front of the back. Dog! <laughs> so we just need to grab Marion and then. Winston. My life is completely aimless. You know, I'm working very hard. Well, maybe I don't want it or something in this world for me. Okay. Oh my god! I will help you, Winston, at nine thirty tonight. I'm hopeless. So let's see her. So we need to be here at nine thirty for Winston. Winston, you want to overthrow the factory? Do you want to overthrow a factory up in the air? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. The factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least not when I knew him. It was always his dream to build this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of a friend. Okay, Vlad, I understand. The factory here did... <laughs> Determ... At right determines the, yeah. the schedule of everything. The flow of people in and out during the day and night. It's the lifeblood of this city. This is a city of sad and lost spirits. They march in line as if driven by machinery. To see a new face here is a pleasant change. Some say the Baron of the factory is something I once knew him as a kind and gentle. That was a long time ago. Sorry, he was just saying something you're going to talk to. No, he probably overheard you and he's like, I ain't losing my job. I have no personal connection with the Baron, but I ain't losing it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Baron. Oh, hi, Mr. Hey. Welcome to, like, the gift house. We have, like, all the greatest toys for sale here. Mom said. Including Happy Kid, the most popular toy ever. Produced right here in the factory. Take Happy Kid home with you today. And put a smile on your family's face or whatever. Happy Kid, it's just like pure joy in the form of a child. Wow, buy it. Everyone loves Happy Kid. Everyone wants to be a Happy Kid. Become one with Happy Kid. Join Happy okay, Kid. We're gonna... Buy Happy Kid. It's only a subscription of twelve ninety nine a month. For Happy Kid. Miriam. Well, anything? I met an astronomer from here. She wants to shut down the factory too. Perfect. So what do I blast? She's a scientist, right? So she knows where to hit them to knock out the whole system. What do I blast? Well, honestly, I never mentioned that you could do these things. She might have actually had a plan for you, but... Uh, we aren't blasting anything. Oh. We're gonna get sad people from around town. And mess it up from inside. Oh. Okay. I like my plan better. But I guess we'll do yours instead. It's not really my plan. Well, let me know. If you want to hear rumors from around town. Or something. Not like I have anything else to do. There's the whiny dude who's always crying and wandering around. Something about him really rubs me the wrong way. There have to be better options than that, right? So. Is he talk she talking about you? Oh, no, I'm sorry about Winston. 
You're right. She was like, there's this guy who's spinning around, like, saying, da -da 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 I don't understand. Ah. Happy, happy, friend. That's how I'm feeling. And you're all happy, kid. You can feel it, too. Into the pub I go! I guess we're just gonna wait to the time. Yeah. Every night at 9.30 p.m. I try to pet the stray dog by the clock tower pub. What do I do to make her like me? Okay, just do that. My life is completely aimed. It's going to work the back room, it says. Oh, I got a mama! There's nothing in this world for me. Every okay, night, okay, well, pet the dog. I can't do it. I don't- just pet her! I feel like I'm missing a step in my logic. Oh, okay, bye. Maybe something in the pub will help. Was I supposed to give her food or something? No. <laughs> I come here every night, but I don't know why. Nobody wants to talk to me either, ever. Everyone in this town hates me. How am I supposed to make friends? Everyone has a job and a life except for me. I try to pet the dog outside around 9 30 every night, but when she won't be my friend. I'm so pathetic. Yes, you are. You wanna overthrow the factory? Wow, yes! I wish. But I need this job. No matter how much I hate it, it's all I got. See, Miles? Holy crud! I hate this frickin' head! A daily prison, that's what it is. So stuffy. All damn sweating up in this stupid thing. Don't smell it you value your life. If my boss knew I was out of the costume, it wouldn't be pretty. Keep it a secret, okay? Happy Kid is such a load of garbage. Can't believe they have me selling this crap. Happy Happy? Give me a break. You ever throw the factory? What? Do you even know what you're saying? The factory is everything here. I've now changed her voice. <laughs> this meant be nothing without it. Careful when you say stuff like that. Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink, hon? Like juice? No. Life's stressful here. Folks come here to relax after a long day. Well, except that one guy. The whiner who's always crying. He ain't worked a day in his life, I think. Still comes here to relax, though. Can't imagine what's stressing that slacker out. You see that stray dog around town? She sleeps outside here every night. Sad, ain't it? Wish she had a friend. If only... If only someone would be her friend! Hey, I remember you from the gift shop. I hate it there. Let's jump, I guess. You wanna overthrow the factory? Whoa. I definitely don't love it. But overthrowing an entire factory? That sounds like a lot. I better not rock the boat. Baby. There's like this big push to sell Happy Kid toys right now. But I don't like think anyone wants Happy Kid. I don't think anybody even has kids in this town. <laughs> in fact, I think I'm gonna sick to death of Happy Kid. Especially me. The factory owns like this whole city. So everyone's like, re life revolves around the factory. And the factory just makes Happy Kid. So it's like, all the city does is make Happy Kid. It sucks. Keep going. Happy Kid has invented by the Baron who runs the factory. He must be really weird, dude. And I just 
I wish I had anything to talk about besides Happy Kid. Do you want to repair the factory? No, my muscles deny you! There would be nothing left without the factory here. I intend to work there until I become the Baron someday, ha! Huh? Oh, my muscles are ripping from a long factory day. That- It's a- It's that good egg. Hard work to hard no man. The factory once was once just a small toy shop. Then, ha! The Baron built it into something far greater. He must be the strongest man in this city. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. You want to overthrow the factory? What? This is crazy talk. Factory's the only way of life. And I have family to worry about. Now. I cannot do the thing you ask. Hey, Boris. I can't. I won't. What once? I once was champion of boxing arena. Tattoo has come and go, but apparently it stayed. I'm working for a baron now, making happy kid toys. My papa, he once had Chucky store in town. But parent bought store, knocked down, make it more factory. For men like me, factory is only place for work now. Someday I will li live here with family. Will you fear? Leave! I'm mad! But we are needing money, so I can't, so I stay and I walk. Well, what a wonderful bunch. So, next time, uh, we'll finally figure out what Winston needs to do with the dog and stuff and get things going. Bye.